Hello everyone. My name is Durga Prasad Budhwari. This is the continuation of AWS Cloud Development Kit series. In today's video, we are going to see how we can publish our static content as a static website with the help of AWS S3. Before going to more details about how we can achieve this thing, first we need to understand what is AWS S3. The S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. In Simple Storage Service, we can store any amount of data. We can retrieve any amount of data. The data can be form of image, video, application data, application log files, backup of uh, database, backup of EC2 machine, uh, any data which we can think about. It can be a binary file. But for the static website, the static content will be either in HTML, JavaScript or CSS format. So what we are going to do in this series, we are going to perform two steps. First, we are going to upload our data into S3. And once the data has been uploaded, the second step that we are going to perform is modify the S3 configuration so that the static content which we have published, it will be publicly accessible. It will be accessible using an URL. So let's get started. Now I am in my AWS management console. I need to navigate to AWS S3. There are two ways that I can navigate to AWS S3. First, I can go to services. I can search for storage. And in the storage, there is the AWS S3. We can make it a favorite so that we can utilize it later. Once we are making this as a favorite, it will be available here. And another way to navigate to S3 is we can use global search. Type the name S3. It will be available here. Once we are going to click on this thing, it is going to navigate us to the S3 page. Now we don't have anything resources which has been created here. So what we need to do is in, in S3, first we need to create a bucket. Now consider bucket nothing but a folder structure. Uh, once the folder structure has been created, we can put our files, our data to that folder structure. And for that first we need to create a bucket. So for creating a bucket, we need to go to create bucket and uh, we need to add the name of bucket. In my case, I'm going to put simply serverless Durga. Then we need to select the region of the bucket. I will go to select Mumbai region. Then it is going to ask object ownership. So for the static website, uh, we don't have to deal with this object ownership, uh, but we need to deal with the block public access setting for this bucket. So what is happening is by default, the S3 bucket is not publicly accessible. That means all the files which you are going to put to this S3 bucket, it is not accessible uh, to anyone. Uh, but for the static website, we need to allow all this content to be publicly accessible. For that, we need to disable this checkbox. And once we are going to disable this checkbox, it is going to give another level of warning here that once you kind of uncheck this block or public access, that means all the contents, all the files will be publicly accessible. And are you okay with that? So we need to fill this acknowledgement that we are okay and we are uh, ready to take the risk that the content will be publicly accessible and anyone can access those content. So once this is done, uh, we don't have to deal with bucket versioning. We don't have to deal with uh, default encryption. It is also recommended that we should create a tags. These tags will be used for grouping our AWS resources. So in later case, let's say we need to do some operation on tags, then these tags will be super helpful. But as a part of kind of a, this video, this is not required. So. What we need to do is we just need to put the name of bucket. We just need to select the region for the bucket. And third, the most important thing is we need to allow all the contents of the bucket to be publicly accessible. Once this three configuration has been done, we can click on create bucket. The bucket has been created. Now we need to upload the content. For uploading a content, I just created a simple index.html page. What this page does is, is just display a hello simply serverless content. 
if i'm going to open to a browser we can see that it just display a hello simply serverless now we need to navigate to the bucket and we can we can easily drag and drop this index.html page to this bucket and once this uh, page has been uploaded we can see that okay now this bucket has only one content and that is index.html page now we need to go to properties after going to properties we need to navigate to the bottom and there we can see static website hosting by default it is disabled we need to edit it and we need to enable it so after enabling the static website uh, it is going to ask us two things whether you want to host as a static website or you want to use this s3 bucket as a redirect to some other website in our case we need to kind of host our static content so we are going to select this static content second thing is whenever you are creating any website you are also mentioning that what will be the first page which we need to render so we always get one url path and when someone is going to hit that url path then that url should kind of render some page it will be kind of a default page so this index document refer that which default page we need to show if someone is going to hit that url in our case it is index.html page second important thing is if there is let's say some error for example if you are trying to access some resources that is not available uh the s3 is going to give us the static website is going to give us the message that 404 that means something is not available but we do have a luxury that we can put some customized message over there and that can be done with the help of error document now in case of single page application spy application uh, for example if you are creating an application in react js uh, what is going to happen is when someone is going to put a, a any path which will be a part of the routing of the framework or not we need to kind of show either a good message or we need to route to a specific folder file location or we need to route to a specific route position in that case the error document will be our index.html page so here i'm going to put index.html page so only these two things are required the redaction rule is useful when you are opting for this redirect request for an object so i'm going to save it static website configuration is done we are going to see a url here the url represent the first part of url represent the name of bucket in our case it's a simply serverless durga then the second part is the region where the bucket has been hosted in my case it is mumbai and third is kind of a domain name if i'm going to click this url it is going to give us a message which is 403 uh, that is access dependent message now the bucket is configured the content of the bucket is publicly accessible but for which user we need to kind of allow this bucket content to be publicly accessible we need to kind of provide a bucket policy so in case of bucket policy we can say that the bucket contents are publicly accessible but by default who can access those content that information is not provided here we are going to modify the bucket policy and we are going to say anyone can access this content the principal is representing a user any user can access this content now what are the actions that we are allowing here so s3 has special rule which we need to enable and which is get object that means anyone can access this s3 object this policy is going to create one bucket policy we mentioned that anyone can access this bucket uh, anyone can perform the gate request to the bucket so that the content can be accessible now we need to provide the resource for the bucket now in case of resources we need to provide a arn amazon resource name and this is the bucket resource name so here we are going to copy the bucket name going to provide as a resource here we are going to mention that forward slash star that means all the content of the bucket should be accessible to anyone so only this configuration we need to do once we are going to click on save button if you are redirecting back to the same website 
now we can see the hello simply serverless message that means the our website configuration is working in the entire series we have done three things first we have created a bucket second thing we have uploaded our content to the bucket and third thing is we have modified the bucket configuration so that it will act as a hosting a static website all this step that we have done it's kind of a manual step in our next video we are going to see how we can automate these steps but before going to more on the automation part first we need to understand that what are the frameworks which is required which i'm going to cover in the next video thank you for watching this video